good morning. It is 5.15 and we're about to leave the house. I'm in my little sister's room at my dad's house. I'm going skiing. I have the big case with two helmets, both wash bags and some other stuff. And the little case which has my ski gear for today because in case they lose this. Yeah. Anyway. Breakfast time. Dad has porridge. <laughs> He's very happy about it. <laughs> my phone did something weird. I did not have a good a good flight, or rather start a flight. I uh, had a slight panic attack in the coach on the way to the plane and then had to basically sit there with my headphones on and an audiobook trying not to throw up. So yeah, you didn't get any of those nice like, oh, I'm going to put my, my camera out of the window and show you land take off and landing because, no, uh, I was just trying to survive. Anyway, we're going to wait for a long time for a hire car. It's the jet! It's the jet! I'm distracting dad, I really shouldn't be. Woohoo! We're in the middle of Geneva. It's very nice. Look at that, it's it's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Rose is in the back. <laughs> I may actually leave that in. <laughs> All the things I would do. What? Oh, zoom and focus. There we go. <laughs> Right, we've just had a glue vine. Oh god, they're stopping in front of me. We've just had a glue vine. I'm wearing my old ball hat. No! <laughs> they're throwing snowballs at me. Rude. Um, so we just had a glue vine after a couple of hours on the slopes. My thigh is oh, killing me. Anyway. Oh, there's a dog! <laughs> I'm gonna turn. <laughs> there's the reprobates that are throwing snowballs at me. Rude. Rude. This this bear is insane. Uh, oh, apparently these people are going to hug the bear. Hug the bear. Hug the. <laughs> so we still got. This is where we're staying. Look at all the snowflakes. And there's probably. Oh, it was a bit of a walk up the hill. Right. my friends is a raclette and dad's just burning himself on it that was a huge mound of cheese and there was meat on all the walls glass there was meat on there there's potatoes in there salad in there empty plates cheese good morning it's saturday it was an all right night wasn't it it was, fine. It was a nice yeah. it was a nice yeah. bed nice bed they, they gave us they gave us t two singles pushed together, so they then took them apart. <laughs> and you can actually see the mountains today. You, ca you can't, because there's a curtain in the way, but... Breakfast time. Mm. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> it's got nugget. <laughs> that has a blueberry tart. Definitely not going on that. There's a dog driving the land train. <laughs> oh my hair, ridiculous. Yeah, this has been under a helmet and then a hat and then a helmet all day. I'm back in the hotel room. Dad and Rose have gone for a few more runs. My um, my knee decided that it was going to complain at me. So I went, do you know what? I want to ski for the next day and a half. So I'm going to listen to it. Um, so I don't know why you're all the way up there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm back in the hotel room. I thought I'd do a quick room tour seeing as they've just uh, sorted it. So I'll turn you around. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start at the so this is our door there's quite a lot of padding on this door this door is quite soundproof it's nice um in there is the loo it's on its own mirror hello i'm in my face layers handy hooks bathroom tiny bathroom oh i don't actually need to turn the light on there we go tiny bathroom and then in here is the main room that's the two beds, although they've put the one bed spread over the two, which is quite funny. <sighs> Little hobbity wardrobe with shelf on top, very odd. And then out here, I wonder if I can open this window actually. We have a lovely little balcony. There's shutters as well, which I might actually bring up. But yeah, lovely little balcony with a couple of chairs. The swimming pool, which is empty and full of snow, is down there. Um, so yeah, it's a nice... It's a nice hotel. Um, so, I don't know if I've actually said this yet. Oh, look at that, I'm half, half in sun, half not. Let's, let's sort that out. Um, I, uh, we're staying at the Labrador, Le Labrador, in Léger. Um, it's a really nice hotel. I, we are one of the only groups in this hotel. Um, oh, I think I may have had a slightly burnt nose. <laughs> anyway. And eyebrows have gone all sorts of wonky. Anyway, I am going to change, get back into my jeans and uh, sit for a bit. I may have a little sleep, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I've just got us, I just went to the supermarket and got us a couple of bottles of water because we don't have any water in the room. There is no kettle in this room. Unimpressed. Unimpressed. So I might actually go down to the lounge and see if I can get a cup of tea. The French don't do tea as well as the English, obviously, but um, better than now. So yeah, I think that's probably what I'll do is I'll get myself sorted, have a bit of a sit. Oh, so, oh my eczema is really... The mountains are, is good for my skin. It dries it out and then drying it out is good because actually Britain is the worst place for me to live. Oh. Britain is the worst place for me to live. That's what happens. Um, because it's cold and wet and damp. Uh, but actually, mountains, because it's dry and cold, probably one of the best places for me to be. But my skin takes a couple of days to get used to it. So, yes. Oh, I'm tired. We've worked hard today. So we're in Leger, but we went all the way across to the Swiss border in Avoria. Um, or Avoriaz, Avoria, I don't know. Different people call it different things. Um, and we went, I showed you there's, there was a little clip of the wall. We went and looked at the wall. The wall is, my dad has done it when he was in his 20s. And he said it's probably, it's the scariest run he's ever done. Ever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm not going down that. But it's it's quite funny because you kind of look at it and go, oh, it's not that bad. And then and then he said, yeah, you get past the, couple, the first couple of moguls at the top and then it's like this. All the way down. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm sticking to nice blues and a few reds, that's it. I like to, I'd like to come home not broken from this trip. So yeah, right, I'm gonna get changed, I'm gonna sort this. It's gonna go in a top knot. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. Um, and then, uh, I'll either go downstairs or I'll stay in here. It's quite warm in here though, I might actually open the window. Or it might just be the fact that I've got this. I've got my stitch tees. I've got a base layer and I've got a vest top on. 
might just be the fact that I've got quite a lot of layers on. But anyway, see you in a bit. Back in front of the fire. So this is our dinner. The big one, not the little one, the big one. Oh my god. It's like he knows that I'm filming. Good morning. It's grey and cloudy this morning. Dad's just talking to himself. No, no, I was looking at the blokes with a beer. <laughs> oh, I think that I think they're doing the, their, their civic duty in recycling. They're doing recycling. They're doing this. The French are good at that. Really mind the dog poo. <laughs> mind the car, Dad. Mind the car. Anyway, uh, so good night. We had. I've, I, I think I showed you a picture of the giant steak, one kilogram of rib, barbecued on the uh, on the hotel grill. It was amazing. Um, anyway, we are walking for day three of skiing, but it is grey and cloudy. So, we'll see what visibility is like. We've had fun with my hair this morning. I washed it last night and slept on it. So there were some interesting angles. There were some interesting angles. Anyway, I don't know why I get so out of breath in the mountains. Yes, I do. Altitude. <laughs> I'll try and get some more footage on the snow this morning and have some fun. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> We've just stopped here. From the goggles. Minus Probably. Thursday, yeah. it's going to get to It's three. chilly. It's not actually that so chilly. It's five degrees. Be, it's not going to get above freezing. Uh. Apparently, we're discussing the weather in uh, on our return in the UK. It's going to snow in Scotland. Mm. It already is Scot snowing in Scotland, apparently. But no, I have got a red spot there. That's funny. Uh, so, we have done Switzerland. Dad. We've done Switzerland. Good skiing. It was all right, apart from the bits where there were flat light. Oh, yeah. Flat light is not fun. It's not oh, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first run we did. We're... First run, and then when we came back over the top, it was a bit flat as well. Yeah, um, oh, anyway, it's good. It's good. 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 My knee has held up. My foot is not. Actually, do you know it's starting? <laughs> My foot is oh, not as bad as it was yesterday. Okay, one more left. No, so no, we're no. on the bubble down to Morzine because you can't sort of ski into <sighs> Morzine. And then we're going to get the little train. And I think I took some footage of the dog in the little train yesterday. That dog was hilarious. No, I took a film. I took footage. Anyway, um, my nose is quite red. I actually think I've sunburned because I didn't put any sun cream on this morning. Uh, well, it's been um, hard, really. yeah. wind, I know. Windburn. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'll slather myself with cream when we get back to the hotel. Are you guys thinking of going for more when you get back to Leger? How are you feeling? I don't know what time it is. Anyway, I'm going to keep talking to camera. To. But yeah, so we get the little train over to the other side of Morzine and then we get the cable go up back into Leger ski space. So that's the plan. I can stop or I can keep going. You know me. It's been fun. It's I'm been very fun. happy to stop. I'm very happy. She has very red cheeks. I think I've got windburn right there and right there. And I'm coming down with something because I feel all hot and shivery and my nose is bunged and I hate my body. Anyway, I'm gonna pack and then we're gonna turn in. Oh, you're quite far, close to me. I'm gonna pack and we're gonna turn in. It's five to nine. Night. How beautiful is that day? Oh, I love being in the mountains. However, 
I should be on the mountain today, but you can hear in my voice and you can see with my red nose. <clears throat> I came down with a massive cold last night. I feel like crap. <laughs> oh, it's all right. I'm only missing one one morning because we're flying out tonight. So um, we've got to leave. We've got to be in the car by one. Um. So yeah, Dan and Rose are on the mountain. We had breakfast together in the dark. My dad got up and watched the, oh God, super wolf blood moon. Is that the right way round of all those words? <laughs> anyway, <coughs> um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, I have just had another hour and a half sleep. Didn't have the best night, but I propped myself up so I didn't get too bunged up. And now I am going to do a little bit of crafting, a little bit of YouTube watching. And then we're going to go walk into town, uh, sort out my skis and boot hire and move them from the boot room in the shop to the shop. And then go back via the supermarket, get myself some lunch um, and some provisions for the car. So I'll get like a, a box of biscuits. These things are amazing. When I'm in France, these are the biscuits to have. These are the Petit Collier dark chocolate and they are a... Uh, like a shortbready biscuit with a little, let's see if you'll focus on him, a little, little schoolboy in dark chocolate. When I was a child, I used to like I eat the chocolate <laughs> off the top and then eat the biscuit. Um, yeah, the biscuit underneath is called a Petit Beurre. And uh, you can buy them separately. You can buy them without, and I used to, oh my God, I'm, I'm letting you into my inner psyche now. It's actually my mum. Um, there's little corners on these things. We used, we used to break the little corners off and pretend they were pills. <laughs> so you'd break them off, put them on your plate, and then when you finished your biscuits, you go back and eat them. <laughs> Ridiculous children. I'm going to swap. Oh, swap hands. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful day outside. I'm, I'm glad they've got a love, lovely blue sky for their last their last day. Um, but yeah, I'll go to the supermarket, get provisions for the car, and then hopefully that will be the time when they come back. They'll have quick showers, change, the hotel have, so I have to check out in, Dad's checked out already, but I have to leave my room in 45 minutes, and then, um, and then I'll, well, to be honest, I'll probably leave my, my big suitcase has already gone down, they're, they're storing them for us, um, and they're letting us use the spa to change, well, us, Dad and Rose, um, to change. I haven't used that either, like Dad and Rose went and used the jacuzzi in the steam room on Friday night, but no. Anyway, so I brought my swimmers, I didn't use them. But I've actually packed quite well, I've used pretty much everything, everything else I brought with me, including my four projects. I've touched every single one of my four projects that I brought, so I'm happy with that. <coughs> Is that right? Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> I'm justified in bringing all four projects that I brought. Anyway, um, my hand is hurting because I've been holding this heavy camera up for almost four minutes. Um, so I'm going to sign off. I will probably take you with my walk into town so you can see how beautiful it all looks in the sunshine. They probably want snow this week, though. It's starting to get that way where it's like five degrees in the in the in the village. So. The snow cannons were on this morning, um, and artificial snow is not fun to, snow, to ski on. Um, not like real snow. <laughs> um, it goes really hard when it freezes. Really hard! Um, and it's just not fun to ski on. Anyway, I'm going to sit and craft for half an hour and then I'm going to go into town, so. I hadn't noticed these. So you've got the French flag, the UK flag, the German flag, the Swiss flag, uh, Polish, Russian, I don't know. Italian, European, French. Love it. I feel bad that I don't know that one, the red and the white one. Polish, Russian. Blah. Can't remember. Anyway. There's the Leger sign. <sighs> this is the main, main street. Two cute little kids. Who looks after it? So tall. Are we? Wow. 
That's what I'm doing. I'm filming them. So, you know that cafe we stopped at? Did you see on the way round to the farm from the ice cream coming out the roof? Uh, they were like canines from, you know, oh, medieval uh, cats. <laughs> medieval cats? Do you not mean sabre toothed tigers? There we go. <laughs> Prehistoric cats, not medieval. If, if, right? my, if my microphone has picked up that entire conversation, I am leaving it in. <laughs> what's, no. medi where, what's the medieval period, right? We're at Geneva. Bag drops. We're three hours early for our flight, but that's just the way it is. Rose is uh, in the queue because we had speedy boarding and she didn't. So she's not living her best life right now. Dad is sat over there. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna find somewhere to sit and have a tea. Maybe. Once Rose is through the giant queue. Look, it's a giant queue. Uh oh. Poor Rose. She doesn't even she's not even noticed that I'm filming her. Poor Rose. <laughs> <laughs>